guys, welcome back to the channel. This week on Raw obviously featured a huge historic moment regarding the WWE Raw Women's Champion. After Sasha Banks and Bayley stole the title at Extreme Rules, there was a bit of confusion about who the actual Raw Women's Champion was. WWE implied that Asuka was very much still the champion, but Sasha Banks was walking around with the title and even had her custom nameplates on the title so things were getting a bit hectic. Thankfully, Stephanie McMahon appeared and wanted to set all this straight, and that's when she set up the Sasha Banks vs. Asuka title match on Raw to determine who's the actual champion once and for all. So we get to the match, and it ends in typical controversial fashion. Asuka is putting in work on Sasha Banks and getting her close to defeat. But then we see on the big screen that Bailey is obviously destroying Kyrie Sane backstage. Seeing the beatdown on Kyrie play on the big screen serves as a huge distraction for Asuka. Asuka tried to continue the match, but realized that enough is enough and left the ring to go stop Bailey from attacking Kyrie backstage. This obviously leads to a countout victory for Sasha Banks, and she officially becomes the Raw Women's Champion. I love that Sasha Banks won the title. It's beyond well-deserved, and I didn't see it coming, so it was quite the surprise. But the one negative thing that I didn't like about this whole match was how the finish played out. Sasha basically had to cheat at Extreme Rules and Raw to win the title. I just feel like Sasha has earned the right to win the championship straight up. But I get it. Sasha is a heel, so it makes sense that she'll cheat. And the finish is probably meant to protect Asuka as well. Despite Sasha Banks winning the title, Asuka was never pinned or submitted, so that makes sense that it could have served as a way to protect her at the same time. This was obviously a historic moment in WWE history. There's not a lot of duos in WWE history that held singles titles and tag team titles at the same time. Sasha Banks and Bayley are only the fifth duo in history to both hold singles titles and tag team titles at the same time. So if that stat is accurate, you can see just how big of a moment this really was. Sasha Banks is now technically a five-time women's champion, but don't let that number five fool you and think Sasha Banks has been champion a lot of times. Take a look at Sasha's first few title reigns. Her first title reign was 27 days. Her second title reign, once again, was only 27 days. Her third title reign was 20. And lastly, her fourth title reign was eight days long. So, her first four title reigns are an absolute shame, and were heavily mishandled, especially her last title reign, which was eight days. Like, what was WWE even thinking? What was the point of that eight-day reign? Just taking a look at that whole situation, her four short title reigns, her short 2019 tag team title reign, you can see why Sasha had enough and walked away after WrestleMania 35. However, 2020 has been the year for Sasha Banks and Bailey, and they're on a hot streak right now. The entire main roster women's division literally goes through them right now. They hold all the main roster women's titles. You want the Raw title? You want the SmackDown title? You want an opportunity at the tag titles? Everything goes through Sasha Banks and Bailey right now, which is absolutely great because the both of them are really putting in a lot of work for the current television product. Hands down, some of the best active talents. Hopefully, WWE allows Sasha Banks to actually have a title reign this time around, because if Sasha loses that title again within three to four weeks, it's safe to say Sasha Banks fans are going to have a lot to say to WWE about that. So, what happened here? Why did WWE basically cancel Asuka's reign? Becky pushed for Asuka to take over her as champion before she left. So what changed? Apparently, WWE's plans were for Asuka to take on whoever was the individual that attacked Kyrie Sane and have that match take place at SummerSlam. WWE has been aware that Kyrie was leaving around SummerSlam, so the plans were either a Asuka vs. Kyrie match to happen on the show or have someone attack Kyrie backstage to write her off of television and Asuka will take that person on to avenge her best friend Kyrie Sane. The two women who were rumored for that SummerSlam match with Asuka was either Nia Jax or Shayna Baszler, but it seems that WWE didn't find any of those matchups interesting enough. 
So that's what made them turn to Sasha Banks as the new champion. So obviously everything has been changed and flipped around. The only thing that remained the same was Kyrie Sane's WWE exit. Kyrie took to Twitter to post her goodbye to WWE and shared a message to the WWE universe. She had this to say, My time in the NXT and WWE locker rooms was incredible. Everyone was kind, funny, and talented. So every day was full of happiness. Also, I was saved by the supportive staff behind the scenes. I will forever love and respect all these professionals I had the pleasure of working with. WWE even confirmed her departure and shared this tweet on their official Twitter. It's been an incredible WWE voyage for Kyrie Sane. Hashtag thank you Kyrie. So after all those rumors of WWE trying to get Kyrie to stay with the company, it looks like she is sticking to her plan of early retirement. This brings us back to the Raw Women's Champion. I really didn't expect Sasha Banks to win the Raw Women's title at all. I always thought the SmackDown Women's title would be the end game for Sasha Banks, and maybe it still is. But the addition of the Raw Women's title into the Sasha Banks and Bayley storyline does make things a little bit more hard to read. We've seen how Sasha looks at the SmackDown title and how she always wears it around her waist every time Bailey is wrestling. We thought she had her mindset towards the SmackDown title, but now that she has her own title with the Raw Women's Championship, it really makes you wonder, where do we go from here? Maybe Sasha Banks and Bailey will just continue to assist each other and defeat superstar after superstar to retain their titles and continue their historic run. Or maybe Sasha Banks and Bayley want to hold both the SmackDown and Raw Women's titles, so they challenge each other. Sasha Banks vs. Bayley is already a highly anticipated match, but if you were to put both the Raw and SmackDown Women's title on the line in a winner-takes-all match, the hype may even grow some more. But we see the situation like Becky Lynch in 2019 and with Keith Lee from a few weeks ago, that double championship thing really didn't last that long, so maybe that fact takes away from some of the hype, but I still think fans will be excited for it. As far as my prediction for that winner-takes-all match goes, I'll have to go with Sasha Banks, strictly because I don't want to see her have another short title reign. I think that's my biggest fear for Sasha Banks right now. I hope she doesn't end up having another 20-something day long title reign, because that would be devastating. Sasha needs a really long title reign this time around, so let's hope she can hold on to that championship. Next up, I want to talk about the Raw superstar that was apparently written off of television this week, and that was Aleister Black. Aleister Black is another top-of-the-line phenomenal wrestler out of the entire roster, but his character has been really lost when it comes to actual direction and story. One thing I noticed in recent weeks about Aleister Black is that he basically has the same repetitive role every single week. I don't know if you noticed, but take a look at the last few weeks of Raw. Basically, every episode includes a moment of Aleister Black running out from the back to save a baby face that's in trouble. A 2020 edition of Monday Night Raw can't be complete without Aleister Black running out from the back to save a baby face that's in danger. I love Aleister Black, he's absolutely a phenomenal talent, and this isn't his fault at all. It's obviously WWE's creative's fault for using him in the exact same way, week after week. Reports claim that the attack from Seth Rollins on Aleister Black will take Aleister off of television for a long time. There's also rumors going around that Vince McMahon is a huge fan and supporter of Aleister Black, the in-ring performer but that Vince McMahon feels his character is still missing something. So it's possible that Aleister Black could go through a character change during this time away from television as well. What are your thoughts on a possible Aleister Black character change? And what did you think of Sasha Banks winning the Raw Women's Championship? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.